get that box. No, the box on the windowsill. There you go. That should be up there.
first pitch slider, low and away, ball one. So the slider is not quite as sharp as we have seen in two previous outings from Ryan Garcia. It's right now breaking early and well off the plate. So the catcher has to help him a little bit with the adjustment on that pitch. Carter setting up low and away on this righty. The 1-0. Slider again, yeah. way off the plate. It's it's easy to read at this moment. When it starts off the plate, then it goes away. But that's again where the catcher has to come in to help him a little bit. Maybe get a little more of the plate with that breaking ball. Short, cautious lead for Kepler at first. Not really a base stealing threat. The 2 0. Swing and a pop up. Foul, first base side, Cabrera over, but that's going to get right out of the top of the Twins' dugout. Giant hop into the stands. Sneaky fastball that time. He was tardy. Got that a lot of the plate. The slider is the key pitch for him. He needs to get more swings yes. and misses. He did at the end of last year because he was using that combination beautifully. Live fastball in the mid-90s with the slider. And this slider's been a little bit hit and miss. It was not there all spring. Quick toss over to first, a high outside fastball. Miguel applies the tag anyway. He likes to do that, though. Kepler on the bag. And then he was missing all spring. We saw some very good ones his first outing. A little bit more hit and miss yesterday, and not quite there today. Worker still has a good hitter's count. 1-1 one, one tie, we're in the fifth. Good defense by the Tigers here in the fifth inning. Another flip over to first, no tag applied. Kepler back with a head first slide. Kepler last few years, eight steals, but he's been caught ten times. But again, Polanco is not a good base dealer, and he stole, and basically stole it off of Garcia. The 2-1. High and tight at 94, 3-1 on Rooker. Takes off, strike three, call low. We got oh, the bottom of the strike zone with a sinking fastball. Perfect pitch. Walker takes perfect. a call third. Good defense by the Tigers drawing the infield. Then with that runner at third, he's cut down at the plate. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning in a 1 1 game. Tigers and Twins. This is the home of Detroit Tigers baseball. Whether it's 2 a.m. on the weekend or you just need a second opinion, Blue Cross is here with more ways to help you access the care you need. You can call our 24-hour nurse line with any questions during those early mornings or schedule a virtual doctor visit to get that second opinion. Anytime, anywhere, we are here for it all and always will be. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. Confidence comes with every card. To learn more, visit hereforitall.com. From the biggest of big games...
against him. Nico Goodrum draws the throw, goes back in standing up. But I'll tell you what happens, very impressive. One thing managers want to make sure their relievers can do, it's amazing how many relievers struggle to hold runners, but if you're going to work in the late innings of close games, they want to make sure that you control the running game. It's a big piece that often gets overlooked for some late inning relievers. Miguel Cabrera takes a pitch in the dirt. You may have an electric arm and may be a late inning candidate, but if you can't control the running no. game, and we've seen this with certain relievers through the years for Tigers and other teams, 
it, it, it makes it hard for the manager to call your number. Yeah, right. <laughs> yes, it does. I mean, it, it, and it's one of the things that Tigers are working on with Matt Manning. I mean, it's not the biggest thing, but it is part of the sure. equation. And A.J. Hinch said he has work to do, but it's about all the things that go with pitching, like holding base runners, because he struggled to do that in the spring. So it's one of those little talked about areas yeah. for a young developing pitcher. Yes, we want to see that third pitch for Matt Manning, but also you have to have that awareness it's 6 .2 of that miles. running Turn game left on and the ability different ways to slow it or stop it. Kenny Rogers always the same. I love Kenny Rogers, one of the best. Wear the game around you. The 2-0 to Miguel in a way. And Stashak in his limited time in the major leagues has shown that he has the ability to stop the running game. So Nico Goodrum's lead is short and cautious. Doesn't look like he's going anywhere. Miggy doesn't swing three and over very much. Boy, I'd love to see him do it. Righty on righty matchup. Stay Shack works first base out of the rubber. The righty sets, holds it at the belt. The 3-0 pitch. High and tight. He walked him on four that. pitches. Tigers have two on with one out for Jamer Candelario. Throw those base on balls. So what happened yesterday with Tigers pitchers walk by 10. We're not including the last walk of the day because it was not by a pitcher. Stay <laughs> in the left lane. Well, AJ said he was the best reliever. It was the cleanest inning. Stuff was short and good. And Laura with the fly to center and a walk. Well, when he went in, just what we were talking about. Don't throw home. Do not try to throw right. home. Just throw home as much as you need to to get it over the plate. Jamer Candelario takes. Strike on the inside corner. Starts to walk with this almost exclusively as you mentioned. Fastball slider for this righty. Cody is a big shot. 26 year old Nicholas Summer is point in New Jersey. Exclusively four seam fastballs, so it's not two types of fastballs, it's just the four seam fastball right at 90. And this day and age, when you have an average fastball around 91, and there's not two types of fastballs, and you're a two pitch pitcher, that's unusual to see the success of this young guy. Yeah, I'm surprised he doesn't have the two seamer. Candelario waiting. The strike one. Off the plate inside, and it's kind of right over the top. It almost looks like he's throwing a curveball. The way he delivers that pitch. Candelario laid off. One ball, one strike. Really good swings in game two against Cleveland. That's been a little quiet since. Off to a four for 17 start for Jamer. One walk. Or two walks and four strikeouts. And sp spring line drives all over the place right from the beginning of spring. The 1-1 one, one up and away. Fastball misses. Now he has the good hitters count. 2-1-1. One, one. Goodrum runs the bases as well as anybody on this team. The instincts, the speed, right. it is just about an automatic to score from second. And with this outfield as deep as it is, oh, man. he will score from second on a single. Don't forget, Mickey's a good base runner also. Three infielders loaded to the right side. Blanco the shortstop just to the right of second base in the shift. Astadio hangs over by third base. He's not far from third. The 2-1, that's high, not close. Three and one on Jamer Candelario. Again, this is a guy who has terrific command. He's 42 innings in the major leagues. He's only walked five. Coming into this game, he's just walked Cabrera on four pitches, and now Candelario has a 3-1 count. Second baseman arrives. He's on the infield dirt in the shift. Candelario winning the 3-1. Swing a line drive. Base it into right center field. Goodwin will score. Cabrera heads over to third. Candelario rounding first, heading to second, and he will go in standing up. RBI double for Jamer Candelario. Popping the fist as he gets to second. 2-1 Tigers here in the fifth. Well, really good at bat. High fastball. He was looking for it. He did not miss it. A nice little double-double bogey -double up there. And you know, yes, Miguel cannot wait to hit the round third base and just keep going. Can he? <laughs> but what a good swing. That was a fastball a little above the belt. Buggy Whip City right there. And off the bat, because it's not going up the right center field gap, it looks like a single, but Candelario knew right fielder Kepler would have to churn because he's a lefty and throw. And Candelario never broke 
stride rounding first. Two on Tigers had a chance to break it open when Ramos at the plate. We're in the bottom of the fifth inning. Twins draw the infield in tight. First pitch to Ramos being in a miss. Slider is a little bit slower than your average slider, 81, 82, and it seems to have a bigger break. It's almost like in between the curveball yeah. and the slider. Ramos today has walked and struck out against the starter half. Stashak on the extreme first base side of the rubber. Righty against righty in this matchup. Right side of the infield, right up to the edge of the grass. Left side of the infield, about four steps behind it. Ramos swings and fouls in one pitch. Out of play. Man, <laughs> hung up on the pitch. One hit, didn't he? He did. Well, you're looking for the bat speed from this show, man. Looking for some pop. Got you offensively. Righties, lefties hit Stashak. About the same. Down the line at third. The 0 2 pitch to Ramos. Swing and a foul. Man, that was a slider in the middle of the plate. They must have just a little bit of bite in it. Must be. That's, that's two that have been up. That and was out right over the plate. That was a hanger, was it not? As a bite to it, that's how he got away with it. Robbie Grossman waiting on deck. Nico Goodrum with a two hit day out of that leadoff spot. As ignited. <laughs> Rally here in the fifth inning. The Tigers have scored one. They'd love to add on. The 0-2 in the dirt gets away from the catcher Jeffers Whoa. and stumbles as he goes after it. Rather dramatic. But what? Don't get hurt now. <laughs> crowd gets on him a little bit. He was running into Ramos. And you know, when you have that equipment on, you're just trying to get to the ball quickly and sometimes you lose your balance. We've all been there. Oh, sticking up for those catchers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, been there. Stasek still has the edge. One ball, two strikes. The pitch. Swing and a miss. He stayed with the slider, and he got the swing and miss and strikes out Ramos. That's a big, big out for the Twins with that runner at third and less than two outs. Infield can now back up, and that leaves it to Robbie Grossman to add to this 2-1 lead. When he needed the pitch, even though he calls it the slider, it looks like a curveball to me. It just disappeared. Big pitch at the right time for the Twins. That's the reason he has such a good strikeout rate in the major leagues, even without a big power yeah, on. Yeah, no, that's right. He's loved to spin it, and this guy spins it a lot. Robbie Grossman now bats lefty against the righty. Doubled from the right side his last time up. That was last inning. That tied the game. First pitch from Stashak is slider on the outside edge for a called strike. And up in the zone. Second baseman arrives about 15 feet out of the outfield grass in this shift with Polanco, the shortstop, to the right field side of second. He's trying to keep an eye on Candelario, maybe shorten his lead just a little bit. Candy runs pretty well, and again, the outfield's deep. Single should score two. Strike one is on the inside corner. Fastball, and that was actually kind of the middle of the plate, just below the belt. I don't think he was thinking fastball. Twins will shift out of their full shift which means Polanco, the shortstop, goes to the left field side of second, still shaded way up the middle. Two on Tigers trying to add on with runners at second and third, and two out here in the fifth inning. Seishak on the rubber, steps off, Robbie Grossman is going to step out. RBI double his first hit, we're in the old English D, very popular addition to this team. Veteran presence. The O2. Just at oh. the top of the strike zone, fastball looked like strike three. What a high, high. Huh? Like strike three. <laughs> That's the 50-50 ball at the top of the strike zone. Stashak way over on the first base side of the run. Sets, glove below the belt when he sets. The one-two pitch. Swing a line drive to right field, thinking it's going to drop in front of Kepler, a base hit. Cabrera's in, they will hold. Candelario at third. RBI single for Grossman. And the Tigers take a 3-1 lead here in the fifth of the winning grand pass. Well, nice buggy way for that. Two some close pitches, got away with some close pitches, but they got the hanging breaking ball, did not miss it. He hit it too hard just to score one run, but there's the swing that you're looking for. That breaking ball out over the plate, he did not miss. 
missing. Barrel the bat out in front of the ball, jumped off that bat. So finally got his first hit, then his second hit in this ball game. Yeah, just hit too hard to score in Candelario, and you're generally going to be aggressive here. Turn left onto Woodward Avenue. The breaks on Candelario rounding third. Kepler is an excellent right fielder, and that throw is right on the money. I don't think Candelario would have made it. I'm with you. Jonathan Scope takes a fastball for a strike. The Tigers are generally going to push it this year, but it's, again, it's scouting the outfield. It's not just the outfield arm, but also did the outfielder have to run to his left or to his right, right. to field that ball? That's a big determining factor. How hard he charges the ball, the big determining factor. Scope swings and misses at a slider that he thought he could do some damage on. Well, give him some time. Back to the screen. He will. Give him some time. Then he would do damage on that pitch. Frustrating. You see it in his eyes and it's on his face. Goodrum with a single. Cabrera walked on four pitches to put two on with one out. Candelario doubled home Goodrum. After Ramos struck out, Grossman picked up his teammate with a solid line drive single to right. Runners hit the corners of 3-1. Tigers lead in the fifth inning. Grossman dances off of first. The 0-2 swing and a foul tip right at home plate. Just... Barely got a piece of it. Stay in the left lane. Okay, the deal bar left is up and throwing in the twins bullpen. Go past the side. Then at the next one, Slide turn on left. <coughs> Seven pitches. Again, that affects his usage in the next couple of days. At the light, use the left two lanes to turn onto Woodward Avenue. So it has a good count for him. One, two, scope swings and misses. Fastball off the plate inside, got him. Yep. Tigers are some good at bats. Three hits and a walk. They produce a couple of runs. RBIs to Candelario and Grossman. We go to the sixth inning in Detroit. 3-1 Tigers over the Twins on the Detroit Tigers Radio Network. Small businesses are the backbone of our community. During these challenging times, they need our support to help them rise again. That's why Comerica Bank is donating this commercial to local businesses. Big Fins Classic Car Storage provides the finest climate controlled storage for your classic vehicles in the metro area. If you're looking to pamper your car with the finest storage available, call Big Fins in Allen Park at 313-399-4849. Comerica is also proud to support Ziggy's, located in downtown Ypsilanti. Ziggy's is a music venue now offering outdoor service and to-go beer, wine, seltzer, CBD water, and releases from local music artists. Visit us at ziggysypsistore.com. To learn more, visit the Comerica Business Directory at comerica.com slash directory and shop local businesses in our community. Your support matters. Together, we can help Michigan businesses rise. Comerica Bank, member FDIC, equal opportunity lender. United Wholesale Mortgage is the fastest growing company in Metro Detroit, and they're on the lookout for unique individuals like you to join their team. They've got paid training and openings for people at every age and every stage of their career. No previous mortgage experience needed. Plus, UWM is one of Crane's coolest places in to half work. a mile. Turn right onto North, North, North Perry Street. Millennials. SoaringEagleCasino.com for details. Michael Fulmer takes over on the mound for the Tigers. Pitchy change brought to Southeast Michigan. Four dealers visit Mike Dorian Ford Clint Township. Think Ford first. Go 